Shoulder injuries at the Stone Clinic present with a wide variety of injuries and presentations. Most commonly, we'll see torn rotator cuffs, dislocated shoulders where the labrum has been torn, AC joint dislocations and arthritis, and then shoulder primary arthritis as well. Each of these have their own diagnostic criteria, but physical exam, x-ray, and MRI usually give us a pretty clear picture of what's injured and what needs to be treated. Fortunately, many of the shoulder injuries these days we can repair without surgery with just injections of lubrication and growth factors and physical therapy. But those that need repair, the techniques for repairing them have improved tremendously. For AC joint dislocations, our grafting technique has returned people back to sports and back to full tennis. For rotator cuffs, our grafting technique again there, uh, when we repair them, has again returned people back to sports, but many of the rotator cuff tears we've found do not actually need repair. The dislocated shoulders and unstable shoulders do much better when repaired, we've found. And so repairing the labrums and repairing the dislocated shoulders early helps the patient return to full sports. For those who've lived with an unstable shoulder, even repairing them late works quite well. We don't believe patients do well living with unstable shoulders, especially our surfers and kayakers and skiers and hockey players that are at risk for repeat dislocation. So if you have a shoulder injury, uh, here at the Stone Clinic, we think that a careful exam, good x-rays and MRI, and a plan to get you back to full sports, no matter what your shoulder injury is a good way to go.